a reptile, or even a spider or something, or something like, like that, that, is it means danger, right? With class right here, I'm going to let you in on a little hint. All of my volunteers were very safe today. You had nothing to worry about. But what that red hat says is a defense mechanism. So we're going to see if we can't get another big flight on over here. There we go. Can you imagine being a predator out there in those jungles in Africa and seeing a bright flash of red like that? That is going to make you think twice before making a meal out of flash right there, right? And by the time that predator realizes that guy right there, just a delicious little chicken nugget, he can't hurt them at all, he then has that extra time to get away, and it also allows him to warn any of the other birds in the spot that danger might be nearby as well. But that was Clash, and for our next animal, we are going to be staying in Africa again, because there's a lot of cool animals over there. But we're going to be moving on over to the savannas and grasslands now instead of those jungles. So for this next lady, she does have a very special story here at the park. She was one of the very first animals we ever started bringing out here for these shows and meet and greets. We have Miss Turbo. Wonderful. Now, Turbo here, I'm sure everyone can tell is a porcupine, right? She's specifically an African crested porcupine. So the first thing you guys might be thinking is we're a little bit crazy bringing a porcupine right up to you, right? Well, the thing about Turbo here is she's been coming out here for almost nine years now and she absolutely loves people, right? If she does decide to walk on up to you, Jay here has all of her favorite treats. So will keep her hand nice and high and Jay here will be able to get her attention again. Now, we might want to stay on the outside of the laundry just because what you might be seeing right here now is Turbo here has taken an interest to the grass. Now, even though she's been coming out here almost in all nine years of her life, what she just realized two years ago is this grass right here on the lawn is edible. So that has been something for us trainers to work through lately. But you can tell right here she's doing an amazing job of redirecting her. Now with her way as she's walking around as well, you're going to see she's showing off some super comfortable body language too. So that crest of hers is laying down, that skirt of heels is laying down as well. One thing that porcupines will do if they're feeling friends or if something scoops them is bring all of those quills up as high as possible, make themselves look big and scary, right? And one of the most commonly asked questions we get with our porcupines is if they can shoot their quills from their body. Thankfully, the only porcupine that can do that, folks, is a cartoon porcupine. So for Turbo here, if she sneezes or coughs or hex, even farts, <laughs> you guys are not going to have anything to worry about. Those quills right there are made of keratin, just like ours. So they are modified hairs. So for the same reason we can't shoot our hairs out of our head, Turbo here cannot shoot the quills out of her body, even though she does have those muscles that allow her to raise them. Now with Turbo here, she does have about 30,000 quills covering her entire body. Quills do go all the way from her nose to the very tip of her tail, and she does shed them throughout the year as well. So we do have to be careful whenever we're cleaning up her enclosure right then. But Turbo here is making her way out home. Thank you so much, Turbo, for coming down. Home.